Strength does not come from winning. Your struggles develop your strengths. Welcome all to a journey of fitness and resilience. Today we're focusing on a core component of any training routine, the chest exercises. They're not just about sculpting those pecs for the beach season. Oh no. These exercises play a crucial role in your overall fitness, enhancing your upper body strength, improving your posture, and even assisting in everyday tasks. We've got a power-packed lineup for you today, featuring the top five chest exercises, each one tailored to push your limits and help you build that strength you're seeking. We're talking about incline dumbbell bench press, dumbbell bench press, pec flies, hammer press, and the timeless classic push-ups. If you're digging the energy and want to stay updated with more such fitness content, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Stay tuned as we dive into the world of chest exercises. Our first exercise is the incline dumbbell bench press. Now we're diving into the nitty gritty of the incline dumbbell bench press. This exercise is a powerhouse in building your upper body strength, mainly focusing on your pectoral muscles. But it's not just a matter of lifting those dumbbells. It's all about the form, the control, and the consistency. Let's break it down. Start by positioning yourself on an incline bench. Your feet should be flat on the ground and your back pressed firmly against the bench. Grab a dumbbell in each hand and hoist them up so your arms are directly over your shoulders and your palms are facing away from you. This is your starting position. Now take a deep breath and as you exhale, slowly lower the dumbbells to the sides of your chest, keeping your elbows at a 90 degree angle. Ensure your elbows are below your wrists and your shoulders are down. This part of the movement is crucial. It's where you engage your chest muscles and get the most out of the exercise. Inhale as you push the dumbbells back up to the starting position, using your chest muscles to drive the movement. Your arms should be straight but not locked. That's one rep. Aim for three sets of 10 to 12 repetitions, taking a breather in between each set. The benefits of the incline dumbbell bench press are manifold. Not only does it enhance your upper body strength, but it also promotes better posture by working your shoulders and upper back. Moreover, it engages your core, helping you build stability and balance. But here's the kicker. The incline angle targets the upper part of your chest, an area often neglected in traditional chest exercises. So if you're looking to sculpt your chest from all angles, this exercise should be a staple in your workout routine. Remember, Patience is a virtue in the world of fitness. You might not see immediate results, but with time, consistency, and a whole lot of effort, you'll start to notice changes. You'll feel stronger, your posture will improve, and your upper body will take on a more defined muscular shape. Remember, form is key for maximum results. For scene script, next up is the dumbbell bench press. This exercise is a cornerstone of chest development. To execute it, lie flat on your bench holding a dumbbell in each hand. Your feet should be flat on the ground. Start with the weights at shoulder width. Then as you breathe out, push the dumbbells up using your pectoral muscles. Keep full control of the dumbbells at all times. Then as you breathe in, slowly lower the weights back down to the starting position. The dumbbell bench press targets your pectoral muscles leading to a more prominent and well-rounded chest. But the benefits don't stop there. This exercise also enhances your chest strength, allowing you to push, throw, and lift heavier objects with greater ease. Remember, technique is key. Don't rush. Take your time with each rep and focus on the muscle contraction and release. The path to a stronger chest is not a sprint, it's a marathon. Scene script, moving on to the PC flies. This is a fantastic exercise that focuses on the pectoralis major, the large muscle that makes up much of the chest in the human body. But before we delve into the benefits, let's talk about the proper form. To start, you'll want to sit on a flat bench or a machine with a slight recline. Hold a dumbbell in each hand, arms extended out to your sides and elbows slightly bent. This is your starting position. Now with a smooth and controlled motion, bring the dumbbells together in front of your chest. Imagine you're hugging a giant tree. That's the kind of motion you want. Your arms should remain slightly bent at the elbows throughout. Slowly lower back to the starting position and repeat. Now, why do we do pec flies? Well, firstly, they're great for chest definition. 
This exercise targets the chest muscles from a different angle than a traditional press, helping to build a well-rounded sculpted chest. Secondly, pec flies are wonderful for shoulder stability. They engage the shoulder muscles and assist in strengthening and stabilizing the shoulder joint. This can pay dividends not just in your workouts, but in everyday activities and tasks as well. Remember, it's not about how heavy you can go, but about performing the exercise with correct form and control. And most importantly, don't get disheartened if you don't see immediate results. Fitness is a journey, not a destination. Consistency is the key to making progress. Let's keep those muscles working and the gains will follow. The hammer press is our next exercise. This exercise is a powerhouse for boosting upper body strength and enhancing chest symmetry. So how do we perform the hammer press to perfection? Let's break it down. Start by adjusting the seat so that the handles are at chest height. Sit with your back firmly against the pad. Your feet should be flat on the ground, providing a stable base. Grip the handles with your palms facing each other and push the handles away from you, extending your arms but not locking your elbows. Now, slowly bring the handles back towards your chest. That's one rep. The hammer press is a controlled movement. It's not about how fast you can go, but about maintaining correct form. This exercise targets your pectoralis major, the largest muscle in your chest, and also works your triceps and shoulders. By focusing on each rep, you'll engage these muscles effectively and efficiently. The benefits of the hammer press are not to be underestimated. Improved chest symmetry? Check. Enhanced upper body strength? Double check. It's a fantastic exercise for promoting balance between your chest muscles, ensuring one side isn't working harder than the other. Plus, it can help you push past plateaus in your strength training. But remember, the key to success is consistency. Don't be disheartened if you don't see immediate results. Keep pushing, keep persevering, and your efforts will pay off. Challenge yourself, but remember to always prioritize form over speed. Last but not least, we have the classic push-up. Now, you might be thinking, push-ups? Really? But hear me out. This basic bodyweight exercise is a powerhouse when it comes to developing your chest, shoulders, and arms. But it's not just about the muscles, it's about the execution, the form, the consistency. First things first, the setup. You want to place your hands slightly wider than shoulder width apart. Your feet can be set up in a way that feels right and balanced. Some folks like to keep them close together. Others prefer a wider stance. You do you. Now let's talk about your body. It should be in a straight line from your head to your heels. This is your starting position. As you lower your body, keep your elbows close to your body. This ain't the chicken dance, folks. This is a push-up. You are aiming for a 90-degree angle at the elbow as you go down. Once you're down there, it's time to push back up. Push through the heel of your hand. Exhale and lift yourself back up to the starting position and repeat. Remember, the goal here isn't to do 100 push-ups in one go. It's about quality, not quantity. Proper form and controlled movement will get you further than cranking out sloppy reps. And the benefits? Where do I start? Push-ups increase functional strength because they utilize a number of muscle groups at once. They enhance your cardiovascular system as the exercise is classified as a compound movement. They also improve your posture, prevent shoulder injuries, and did I mention they're free? No fancy gym equipment needed. So, if you've been neglecting this old school exercise, it's time to bring it back into your routine. It's not just about building a better chest, it's about building a better you. Keep pushing, your future self will thank you.